This video is about review for rational functions. The function f defined by f of x equals 2 minus 3x over 4x squared minus 9. For x, it's all real numbers. But x is not equal to p and x not equal to q. Find the value of p and the value of q. For domain of these uh, rational functions, 4x squared minus 9 not equal to 0. Factor 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3 not equal to 0. So x1 is not equal to negative 3 over 2. x2 is not equal to 3 over 2 which means p equals negative 3 over 2 and q equals 3 over 2. b, change f of x equals 2 minus 3x over 4x squared minus 9 into partial fraction for 2 minus 3x over factor the denominator 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3 equals a over 2x plus 3 plus b over 2x minus 3. Both sides times the LCD 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3. So we get 2 minus 3x equals a times 2x minus 3 plus b times 2x plus 3. Let's make 2x minus 3 equals 0. Then x equals 3 over 2. 2 minus 3 times 3 over 2 equals this is 0. So b times 2 times 3 over 2 plus 3. Simplify 2 minus 9 over 2 equals 6b times 2 both sides so that we can get rid of this uh, 2. 4 minus 9 equals 12b. So b equals negative 5 over 12. Next step, let's make uh, x equals uh, 0. So we get 2 equals a times negative 3 plus negative 5 over 12 times 3. Simplify 2 equals negative 3a reduce minus 5 over 4 times 4 both sides. 8 equals negative 12a minus 5. So a equals negative 13 over 12. In other words, we can write down 2 minus 3x over 4x squared minus 9 equals a is a negative 13 over 12. 2x plus 3. Since b is a negative, so we write down minus 5 over 12. 2x minus 3. This is the partial fraction for f of x. C. Sketch the graph of y equals f of x for x 
is uh, greater than or equal to negative 3, less than or equal to 3, showing the value of any axis uh, intercepts. The coordinates of any local maximum or local minimum, and uh, giving the equations of uh, any asymptotes. Let's go to calculator. F1 of uh, x equals control divide 2 minus 3x over 4x squared minus 9. Enter. We need to change the window. Menu 4. Enter. Negative 3. 3. X skill is 1. 1 minimum. Let's go back and check the skill for Y axis positive 10 to negative 10 skill is a 2 negative 10 positive 10 Y skill is a 2 enter Y intercept menu 5 enter 0 enter 0, negative 0 0.222. We can calculate this uh, y intercept and uh, x intercept for these uh, rational functions. So, first of all, find the y intercept. It's so negative 2 over 9. 0, negative 2 over 9. This is a negative 2. So just estimate over here, label 0, negative 2 over 9. For intercept, 2 minus 3x equals 0. x equals 2 over 3. So 2 over 3, 0 is the x intercept. Asymptote line x equals 3 over 2, x equals negative 3 over 2. This is the vertical asymptote line. For horizontal asymptote line, we will use the limit y equals limit as x approaches the infinity of leading terms negative 3x over 4x squared. We do know limit as x approaches the infinity of 1 over x equals 0. Reduce 1 over x, so equals 0, which means the horizontal asymptote line is y equals 0. Let's sketch the graph and label the key features. Since in this question, we are given the domain x greater than or equal to negative 3, less than or equal to 3. For HL level, we need to figure out the ending points. Let's go to menu, 5, enter, negative 3, enter, negative 3, 0 0.407, then press 3, enter, 3, negative 0 0.259. Now let's plot uh, these two points, negative 3, 0 0.407. Then you can sketch the graph like this. 3, negative 0 0.259. Then sketch the graph like this. D, 
the function g is defined by g of x equals 4x squared minus 9 over 2 minus 3x. x is not equal to 2 over 3. Find the equations of all asymptotes on the graph of y equals g of x. Asymptotes. Vertical asymptote line. We will make a denominator 2 minus 3x equals 0. So x equals 2 over 3 is a vertical asymptote line. Horizontal asymptote line. Y equals limit as x approaches the infinity of four division of four leading terms. 4x squared over negative 3x reduce equals infinity, which means no horizontal asymptote line. For oblique asymptote line, g of x has an oblique asymptote line because the leading term of a numerator has one more degree than the leading term of a denominator. Let's work this out by synthetic division. Make sure you change the denominator into x plus a form. Plus a form. So we take a negative 3 out. x minus 2 over 3. 4x squared minus 9. The root of a denominator, x minus 2 over 3 equals 0. x equals 2 over 3. Root in the corner, 2 over 3. No missing power, 4, 0, negative 9. Because 4x squared minus 9 equals 4x squared plus 0x minus 9. Drop down 4. Multiply 8 over 3. Adding 8 over 3. Then we stop. x squared x plus. Do not forget to uh, divide it by this uh, negative 3. Y equals negative 4 over 3x minus 8 over 9. This is the oblique asymptote line. We can figure out uh, this uh, oblique asymptote line by long division. 4x squared plus 0x minus 9. No missing power. And also make sure polynomial functions in standard form. So negative 3x plus 2. Leading term divide 4x squared over negative 3x equals negative 4 over 3x negative 4 over 3x. Do the multiplication. 4x squared. Negative 4 over 3x times 2. Negative 8 over 3x. Subtract. Hinge sign. Positive. Negative. Positive. 8 over 3x. This cancel minus 9. 8 over 3x divided by negative 3x. Reduce negative 8 over 9. So minus 8 over 9. It's done. We got the same oblique asymptote line. Y equals negative 4 over 3x minus 8 over 9. Let's go to E. By considering the graph y equals g of x minus f of x, or otherwise solve f of x less than g of x, we only focus on this. 
we change uh, this function into less than zero form f of x minus g of x less than zero f of x is uh, 2 minus 3x over 4x squared minus 9 minus 4x squared minus 9 over 2 minus 3x less than 0. So we will put this function into f1 of 4x. Enter. First of all, let's figure out all roots. Menu. 6, enter, menu, 6, enter, menu, 6, enter, menu, 6, enter, let's draw the sign diagram. First of all, label all the roots. Vertical asymptote line. x equals 2 over 3. x equals 3 over 2. x equals negative 3 over 2. Since uh, this is a uh, calculator based, we just need to find a number for each interval. Then we will use the trees uh, to figure out uh, the sign for each interval. Let's go to menu, 5, enter. We just need to type all those uh, numbers in. Negative 3, enter. Check here, it's a uh, negative. Negative 2, just directly type in negative 2, enter, positive, negative 1.4, enter, negative, 0, enter, positive, 0 0.7, enter, negative, 1.4, enter, positive 1.6 enter negative 2 enter positive since uh, we are looking for less than zero which means uh, the interval with the negative sign is our solution so from negative infinity to negative 2.08 union, negative 3 over 2 to negative 1 union, 2 over 3 to 1.33 union, 3 over 2 to 1.75 is the solution to f of x less than g of x.